Okay, I am here with Chris Perez at the Cesar Chavez Legacy Foundation red carpet. That is a mouthful. How are you doing, Chris? I'm doing good. Happy to be here and uh, see some old friends, you know, in, inside there. So it's always good to meet and hang up and, and, and catch up with, with these guys. So I hate to get mushy, but has Cesar Chavez left a legacy or anything with you personally? Um, you know, the people that are here, I unfortunately never got to know him, of course. I, I know his message and, and what he stood for, and I admire him and, and all the hard work he put into uh, the, the things that he did. The people that are here right now are incredible as well, the ones that are receiving the awards. And just hearing their speeches is, is uh, very inspiring for me. So Very inspiring. Yeah. Now, it sounds like you've got a really busy 2015 going on. Fill me in on everything you're juggling. Yeah, it's been crazy. Um... Well, I'm, I'm working on music out of Miami and also Texas, which is where I kind of am based out of. Uh, Miami, I'm working with Emilio Estefan, who most people know him from his uh, in Gloria Estefan and the Miami Sound Machine. And he's just dudes all over Miami these days. But, um, you know, so we're working on that. Uh, we, I put a, let's see, I released a book about the time that I had, you know, married to Selena for the, well, not just the time that we were married, but also before that when we were already like a couple or whatever how because a lot of people wanted to know how it kind of unfolded so that book came out about two years ago um they did the hardcover then they did a paperback version so they had me going out we just wrapped up a promotional tour of for the paperback version which has been insane as far as the people that have shown up and i want to say thank you for uh you know everybody that's shown up and helping to keep her legacy alive and all in all the different ways that you guys are doing it you know she loved her fans and I know how much they meant to her, so it's always nice to catch up with them as well, you know, when they come up to the meet and greets, and I mean, it's to promote the book, but the way I choose to do it is I'll, I'll hang, I'll take pictures, I'll sign anything, it doesn't have to be a book, you know, anything like that, so it's been a really um, wonderful experience for me, which was a shocker, because I thought I was going to kind of be like bummed out, or you know, just, but I think with the time that has passed, the 20 years, it has you know as far as my part of of the legacy it has kind of morphed from being you know uh, the widower and just you know the the whole sadness part of it it's become more of a celebration and i think that's something to do with the 20 year anniversary you know and they're doing a whole bunch of cool things like a fiesta in her honor in corpus christi it's the first annual one it's going to be april 17th and 18th uh i'm going to be playing there with my band oh great yeah it's going to be a lot of fun um so it's 17th and 18th. What else are we working on, man? We're here. We're in L.A. right now doing some meetings and, and handling up some business. I go back to Texas, prepare for this show coming up. We have some meet and greets here in Los Angeles, sat, uh, Friday and Saturday. Um, so it's just been crazy. It's been really hectic. You've answered like five of my questions all after one question, it's which what, is you know, fantastic. It's what I do. I'm so used to it. I just start rambling on and stuff. So. So your band is called the Chris Perez Project as of right yes, now, correct? Yes, right. And you're just playing guitar or are you singing too? I, I do most of the songwriting, quite, quite a large percentage of the songwriting and also, you know, the vocal melodies and things like that too. But God bless me, not so much in the vocal, you know, <laughs> part, but... Um, you know, my guitar playing, and I do sing background vocals with my lead guy, so um, it's a lot of fun. You know, I went back to my roots um, around 2000, which is the rock, um, Latin rock kind of scene that uh, at the time was kind of underground, and it, 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 it has blown up within the last few years, and I'm just, I'm constantly changing. You know, being from South Texas, we speak both Spanish and English, so it's crazy how when I write, sometimes we just write, end up, hap, you know, happen to write a song in Spanish or in English. And I've been told many times I need to focus on one, you know, but I'm like, man, this is who I am. And luckily I've been able to get the support of people that believe in the project and the music that I do and are willing to go in with me and, and help me record these things in English and in Spanish. And for me, that's a very important thing, you know, to, I want, I want to hang on to that as tight as I can. So. And with the 20th celebration of Selena in April, um, is this something that is new to you, or have you been always doing something around this date before this big public celebration was planned? Well, at, when everything first happened in 1995, obviously, I kind of felt like I had to go out and talk about it, but I didn't really want to go out and talk about it. Um, 
And then, I don't know, maybe because it's the 20th anniversary, and like I had mentioned earlier, it's become more of a celebration instead of a, a dark moment, yeah, mourning and things like that. Um, I've kind of embraced it in a different way this year, uh, in, a, in, a, in a happy way, and feeling blessed, you know, and just ha happy and proud of what her legacy has become 20 years later. And so to be a part of it, it's just an incredible thing for me. I mean, uh, again, thank you to all the fans out there, all of Selena's fans that, I mean, I see you out there, you know, we're out there doing the rock thing or whatever, and we have our fans that, that like the music that I do, but at the same time, I see people out there in their Selena shirts, and, you know, it's a, it's a wonderful feeling. What is your favorite song with Selena? You're going to trip, because being that I'm a rocker or whatever, you would think I'd pick some of the more guitar-heavy stuff, but I like this song called... Um, Tus Desprecios, which was kind of like a, an accordion conjunto type tune that I used to love to play live. And she, along with all the other songs, used to sing it so well. You know. Tell me a little bit about your book coming out. Well, the paperback has been out for a few months now. Oh, congratulations. Yeah, that's what we were just wrapping up that promotional tour. But then, um, like, we didn't really get to hit all the spots that um, we wanted to. So... Obviously, we, we did a pretty uh, thorough job in Texas because of, you know, Selena's fans and the core base being there, although she has fans everywhere. Yes. Um, you know, we didn't get to hit uh, the East Coast or the West Coast. And, and as I mentioned before, that's why we have this Friday and Saturday added on kind of a thing to my schedule so that we can meet people while I'm out here doing work. And it was really a last minute thing. I mean, I think maybe a week and a half ago. Oh, wow. The idea came across the table, and I was like, you know what, I'll do it. Yeah, you don't and usually we end up staying for a really long time. You know, I don't know how crazy it's going to be tomorrow, but I've been really surprised at every event like that that I attend because we'll pull up to the place. Like, say it's a you know bookstore or whatever. We'll pull up to the place. I won't know what the place is, obviously, because I'm not from, let's say, Dallas. I don't know where the location of it is and what part of town, whatever. We'll be pulling up, and I'll see a line of people just... Down the, out the store, down the street, mm -hmm. and I'll, be, I'll tell my, my um, representative I'm with, you know, I'm like, man, what's going on in there? He's like, that's where you're going to be today. Like, you know, and it happens at every one of them, and we've stayed. I mean, the people from the stores have been so accommodating, and, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll stay there with me until the last person is gone. And, I mean, there's a lot of people, but what they have to do is when business hours are over, they have to lock the door. So anybody that might be outside won't get in, but everybody that's inside, I'm still there with them. You know what I mean? Until that last person goes through. And sometimes that's an extra two, two and a half hours. We'll be leaving there at one in the morning. So but people don't forget that. They appreciate that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's amazing. And, you know, I used to feel that way, too. And Selena did as well when we would do shows. And we'd pull into towns, like, specifically, like, a Uvalde, Texas or something. And we'd pull in and be driving by a by a place where we would do we would be scheduled to do the show but i wouldn't know that was the place and we would just see a line of people and be like that's for yeah it was it, it yeah to have that feeling again is it's man i love it what was it like transitioning from your career with selena to your own career um well for me it was bittersweet you know, I worked so hard in the other genre of music that we were doing and creating at the time that it was really hard for me to, de when, to come to a decision to do something different, which was, you know, my first love of music, which was rock music. Um, so to kind of be out of that scene and, and what have you, it was a little tough on me. You know, I did miss a lot of the cities and the people that would go to the, to the events and things like that. But... At the same time, I don't think I could have done it even if I tried to because I was in such a weird headspace at the time and I felt like I could not play that type of music anymore anyway if I didn't have... Like if I'm up there playing and I turn around and I look at my guys on stage and it's totally, completely a different set of people, I would have probably freaked out. Yeah. So, yeah. So, I, you know, those kind of things helped me decide to go the route that I did and we were really... Um, happy the guys in the band and myself and then to end up winning a grammy for our first record i mean which is pretty much unheard of you know and it was just a, a weird time you know and then there was this latin explosion thing going on so for that to be my introduction as a solo artist 
it was crazy. Yeah. 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 I can't imagine that you've had such a unique and interesting life. I'm really anxious to read this book. Can you tell everybody the title of it, where they can find it, and where people can find you on social media as well? Yeah, the book is titled um, To Selena With Love, uh, written by myself, Chris Perez, or Pettis. But um, <laughs> yeah, it, it was released a few years ago in the hardcover, but you can find the paperback the, uh, version of it. And the cool thing about it is... After the first version had come out, the hardcover, I was going through some stuff in storage. I had to get some things organized or whatever, and I found a cool letter that she had written me, like a five-page letter, and we included that in the new version. Because when they told me, see, I'd never done a book before, so I didn't know if, the, you know, if, from what I was told, if it has a certain amount of success, they release it in a paperback version. So when I got the call from my publishers, and they were saying, oh, yeah, the paperback version's coming out, and we're booking this, whatever. And I said, wait, what? <laughs> we're doing another book? And they said, well, it's the same thing. It's just going to be in paperback. I said, well, if we're going to do the same thing again, can I add, like, a prologue? And I said, as a matter of fact, maybe a good idea would be to include this letter or whatever. And my original idea was to have it copied, like, in her writing. But for some reason, it, it, they couldn't get it done that way. So it's in there, but it's, you know, in their own font or whatever. But That's still cool. It's in her words, and it's something yeah. no one else has seen. And what a surprise to find that after so many years. Oh. That must have been great. Yeah, it was. it's kind of like, you know, I'm always finding stuff like that. Yeah. And, and in, a, in a cool way, it's like it just happened yesterday when I see it, you know. Um, and again, you know, it's not, it's, it's, 99.9% of the time that something like that happens, it's a good thing. I take it as a good thing, and I'm really happy, and I'm thankful for the time that we did get to spend together. And, you know, and as a matter of fact, it was cool of her brother the other day because her family and I are still very tight. And uh, we were talking, and he was like, dude, I just, I just want to thank you, man. And I was like, for what? He goes, for being there for my sister. And I know even though she's not with us anymore, at least she got to feel that love, you know, and be in love with somebody, and I just want to thank you. You know, and that meant everything to me yeah he's 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 a he's her family are are wonderful people and and they're they're super nice to me you know and we're as tight as ever can you tell everybody where they can find you on social media social media uh facebook just look up chris perez or pettis p-e-r-e-z um you'll you might be a little confused by it because i we joke around that I have an alter ego, another personality, which is the guy that goes up on stage. Uh, so that's with the hair out. Oh, and the, sure. if you see a dude with crazy hair, you know, this is your rocking. Hair. Yeah, yeah. Um, that would be me. <laughs> so, you know, you can find me there on Facebook. I do have a, qui- uh, a Twitter, a Twitter at Chris Jean Perez one. Um, and you know what? I have the other Instagrams and all this other stuff, but I don't know what all that is. I'm more on the, more of a Facebook kind of guy. So, yeah. Well, thank you so much. It was such a pleasure to meet you. Hey, everybody. This is Chris Perez, and you've just been buzzed.